the federal government has lamented its inability to reach the target of 5,000 megawatts of electricity generation on July 1, 2022, was due to a shortage of gas supply. It regretted that power generation had remained around 4,000 megawatts because of the problem of gas, despite government's firm contract with the Nigerian Bulk Electricity Training NBET PLC. Correspondent Nabuchi Oke Nabuchi sent in the report. Of power, Abubakar Aliyu disclosed this on Wednesday by briefing State House correspondent after the Federal Executive Council FAC meeting chaired by President Muhammad Abwari at the presidential villa Abuja. Aliyu assured that every necessary ingredient has now been obtained to resolve the problem as his ministry is working round the clock to improve the situation. On decline in electricity supply, he said government had generated over 4,000, around 4,600 megawatts with the hope of reaching up to 5,000 but have not been able to do so due to some issues around gas contract, gas to power, which is being resolved. The minister also revealed that FEC approved 2.740 billion naira as a revised estimate for the updated rates of building structures to compensate and resettlement of the communities affected by the construction of 700 megawatt Zunjero hydroelectric power project. We had a generation of uh, uh, over 4,000, 4, around 4,600 megawatts. And you know, we told you since uh, 1st uh, of July that we'll be able to raise it up to uh, uh, 5,000 when we activated the, the, the contract. And we have not been able to do so due to some issues around gas contracts, gas to power, which we are trying to, 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 to take care. And uh, once we do that, we have gone very far with that. And I believe it's for that reason that we are able to uh, reach up to 4,600 as of yesterday. In the morning, this morning, it dropped to 4,100. So this is what is happening. You will be experiencing this fluctuation due to all these issues around uh, gas to power. Minister of Niger Delta Affairs Humana Humana also told journalists that he has been able to secure additional variation costs to settle consultancy services for the forensic audit on the Niger Delta Development Commission NDDC. He said the original cost for the audit was 1.786 billion naira. The initial contract sum, which covered the lead consultants and the field forensic auditors, was 1.786 billion. Uh, these auditors had since uh, concluded their work, uh, but in the course of carrying out this work, it was discovered that they had to deal with many more projects than, than were uh, initially uh, envisaged. And uh, the site also took uh, an additional uh, seven uh, months the total number of additional uh, projects uh, considered by the auditors was uh, 3,773. President Buhari had hardened for the exercise following widespread allegation of corruption and abandoned projects by the Commission in the past. Reacting to inflationary trends in Nigeria, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, while responding to what government was doing to stem rising inflation, said government is doing its best to resolve the challenge through some fiscal and monetary measures, especially in the area of the medium-term fiscal measures. What government do to stem inflation uh, varies from government to government. Sometimes it is the kind of uh, the, the way you adjust your interest rate or the way you uh, introduce certain um, uh, physical measures that would uh, allow you to bring down the inflation.